An Australian innovation in radar technology is getting worldwide attention. A consortium led by La Trobe University in Melbourne has developed a digital radar ten times more sensitive than existing research radar. It's already changing the way scientists track space weather, which is revolutionising navigation and surveillance systems. Emily Stewart reports. This series of wires and modified rugby goalposts stands in a field on the outskirts of Adelaide. It doesn't look like much, but it's the first fully digital radar in the world, and it's causing a stir in the science community. It measures the ionospheric reflections from a distance out to about 5,000 kilometres and is about 10 times more sensitive than any other of these types of radars in the world. This next generation radar has taken a consortium led by La Trobe University three years to develop. Most radars are still analogue and this digital one offers longer range and a much wider field of view. Radar itself is tuned, it's a tuned instrument which allows us to detect very, very small uh, signals you know, thousands of kilometres out from our current location and that is quite unique because we can pick up things that we weren't able to pick up in the past. And because it's digital it can be operated remotely by a lab in Melbourne. What we're looking at here is called the spectrum of the radar signal itself. Uh, that peak that you see down the middle here is the radar itself transmitting um, as, as we speak. Radars work by sending small electric pulses into the upper atmosphere and a signal is then reflected back to Earth. Researchers measure the data to study space weather, like the recent solar flares or bursts of energy which can knock out power, satellites, navigation and surveillance systems for shipping, aircraft and GPS. Over here on that screen they're actually showing some of the data there and the white patch you see is actually for uh, the movement of, of the honesty associated with this. It only just grazed the earth, um, so the results were not particularly uh, great. We haven't really experienced the solar flare in, in the 20th century where electronics really took off, so we really haven't seen the big effect of a solar flare on our planet. The radar will help weather bureaus make better predictions and guide shipping navigation. Placing three or four of these radars around Australia would provide us the complete field of view, uh, 5,000 kilometres out from mainland, and provide that information back to all sorts of shipping agencies. The consortium works with industry partners around Australia to manufacture the radars. And it's already gaining international interest. The consortium has sold radars to the British Antarctic Survey and the South African Space Agency. It's now in talks with defence forces and universities around the world. This workshop is where the mechanical hardware for the radar was built. It took about six months and cost around $150,000. It's also brought many students lots of exciting opportunities to work with industry in Australia and once again we've demonstrated that Australia is a worldwide leader for radar development. Putting this innovation in the front seat for replacing old generation analogue radars around the world.